So when I was tooling around Dollar Tree like I normally do, I came across these really cute little soap containers and I just thought the shape of these were really cute. Plus you got a lot of products with it. So what I decided to do was actually paint the container of this. This is like a five minute DIY. I had taken off all the labels to the soft soap I took the lid off of the soap and then I used a little bit of painter's tape at the top. And then all I did was spray paint this with a gray color. Once that dried, I put the lid back on and this is how cute it looks in my bathroom for $1. So I don't know if you guys have this, but I will be at Dollar Tree and I will see an item and I will think, okay, I know exactly how that would look, but then I don't really know if it's going to turn out. So that's kind of how I felt with this wall hanging. In the end, I like it, but it was definitely a process to get there. So I found these tomato cages at Dollar Tree. So I bought maybe four or five of them and I wanted to use the hoops. Now I know that Dollar Tree sells larger hoops, but I really like that these were smaller and I knew that I could create a cluster of them and they could be really cool. First thing I did was just detach them so I was left with just the rings. Next, I grabbed some nautical rope that they sell at Dollar Tree and I just covered the tops of them with nautical rope. Then I had to move out my table to really, you know, see how this would look. And so I put them down in a formation where I felt like it would look nice up on the wall. Now to attach them all to each other, I took twine and I just wrapped the twine around maybe three or four times. Once I got all of them connected with twine, I turned it on the back and I hot glued the back together and cut off the excess twine. I think this part may have taken the longest, so that was kind of tedious. So I don't know, if you guys have a better idea of how I could have connected those, let me know down in the comments, but that was the only way I could think of where you didn't see a lot of glue. Next, I wanted something really cool and visual to put in the ring. So I found this scarf whenever I was thrifting and I actually used it on one of my thrifting projects, but I had just enough that I thought that I could fill the little ring. So what I did was I took that fabric, stretched it out and put hot glue around the back of a ring, placed it down, and then I cut it as close to the edge as I could because I didn't want any excess. That was my last step. From there, I just hung it on the wall with command strips because it really wasn't heavy at all. When I was walking around Dollar Tree, I found this really cute Kindness Matters little bag and I thought it would be perfect for a project. So I grabbed one of my little hoops that I have on my background here. You can get them off of Amazon, I'll link below. And all I did super easy was I just took the bag and I put it through the hoop. Um, once I got it to where it was as even as possible so that it really framed that circle, and then I just tightened the little ring. I then came back and cut off the excess on the back. And that was it. And now I have it displayed out on my backdrop and think it looks great.
Hey guys, I'm Liz and you're watching my second DIY channel where I post daily DIY videos. You may be familiar with my main channel, Liz Fibic DIY, but I'm glad that you found me over here on my second channel. Make sure that you're subscribed so you just get notified every day when I post our daily DIY video.